This video is brought to you by our patrons. Keep us independent by supporting us on Patreon. Kia ora Koto and welcome to Ark Nova in about three minutes. It has a solo mode, it's a game for one to four players, playing time is long and it's a pretty complex game. You are creating a zoo and filling it with buildings, people and animals. Will it be an African safari, a research institute, host a collection of reptiles or a petting zoo, or do all of them at once? Create the best zoo possible to win. The game ends once one player's pair of score markers meet. After the final scoring, the winner is the player whose green track marker is furthest ahead of their black track marker. Card management. Every card in the game is unique. Tile placement. You have a zoo board to place buildings and animals. Action selection. This game revolves around these five action cards. Player turn. There are three tracks you need to keep an eye on. This one is appeal, and when you play cards that show this symbol, advance here. This track determines your income. This track here is your conservation score, and when you play this symbol, advance. This track can give you upgrades and unlocks. The middle track is your knowledge track, and advances when you play this symbol. On your turn, you will select one of these five cards to play. The number above the card's position shows its strength. Once a card is resolved, move it to the far left and push all cards right one space. Let's run through the actions. Build lets you place one building up to strength value, playing two money per space it takes up. The upgraded build card lets you place multiple buildings and some extra special buildings. There are also placement bonuses marked on your board. The animal card lets you place an animal. You need a habitat building equal to or larger than the animal's enclosure size shown here. Animals cost the amount here and increase your appeal by this many points. They also have different tags and special effects. The upgraded animal card lets you place multiple animals and some rare animals. The sponsors card lets you play a blue card up to its strength. These cards are ongoing bonuses. Sponsors 2 lets you play multiple cards. Sponsors can also be used to get money. The card action lets you draw cards from the deck, or use snapping to take one from the board. The upgraded cards action lets you take cards from the deck, or from any space left of your knowledge marker. The association action uses your delegates and has many effects. Here is gain 2 knowledge, here you gain an association of the continent, and here a research marker. These go on your zoo board and provide discounts and bonuses. The final action is to claim a goal. Here we have 5 Africa tags on cards and tokens, so score 5 conservation points. The upgraded association card allows you to donate money for more points. Some cards will say break on them. When they do, advance the coffee mug. When it reaches the end, a reset phase occurs, where you discard down to your hand limit and collect income. Finally, the plus symbol markers can be gained in the game, and can be played to boost a card's strength. Why would you like this game? This is going to be a tricky review, and there is a lot to like in Ark Nova. First and foremost, its theme. Making a zoo and collecting different types of animals is just neato, and the process of slowly building your zoo up with wacky and wild critters is really cathartic. And the variety of cards and effects is colossal, with good presentation and a lot of interesting abilities on them. There's lots of fun combos and effects to work with. The action selection system is the key to the game, and it integrates well enough into Ark Nova, providing a lot of good decisions. All up, Ark Nova is a game for Euro fans who want a long engine building game with a good decision space and a neato theme. The best thing about this game is the whole zoo thing. It's a great theme and it's well executed. However, aside from that theme, Ark Nova feels very stale to me as a game. The action selection system is from A New Dawn and the card system from Terraforming Mars, and I think both games that Ark Nova drew from use the systems better. The interactions in the game are pretty low, aside from the nonsensical animal attacks, which feel like a hangover from cribbing the card system from Terraforming Mars. It's also far too long to be very casual friendly. So while I've enjoyed the game, I felt like I'd already played it before. Like the card action system? Try Civilization and New Dawn. And for unique cards and engine building, try Terraforming Mars. Ark Nova, a great mechanical mixtape. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, like, share, and subscribe to the channel.